aeroplanes and the horizon of truth. Sprinkle on a little bit of globe mathematics and what have you got? A cannonball earth that just falls flat on its face based on its own claims and its own mathematics. Bear with me. Okay, so I want to know if I'm in an aeroplane cruising at 39,000 feet, I want to know how far away the horizon is that I see out the window at eye level. I want to know how far that horizon is according to the globe mathematics. I want to know how far away that is, supposedly from me. So we put in the, the observation height, 39,000 feet, and we calculate. And we get a distance to the horizon of 242.1 miles. So we've got that as a reference. Okay, so I've got my 242.1 mile figure. Now I've put in an eye height here of zero. All I'm interested in is how much the Earth supposedly curves between the two points of reference. Point A being the ground below the aeroplane. Point B being the horizon the people or myself are seeing from the aeroplane. So all I'm interested in here is just getting some idea how much the ground curves away. And we calculate. And it turns out the ground curves away at 39,050 feet. Okay? So we've got that as a reference now. So I've got the illustration here. Point A, the ground below the plane. Point B, the horizon the people are seeing from the plane. Supposedly. But the strange thing is, according to the globe maths, the horizon, when you're in an aeroplane flying at an altitude of 39,000 feet, and you're seeing the horizon 240 miles away, according to the globe maths, that horizon is not only 39,050 feet below eye level, you've also got to add the 39,000 feet of altitude that you're in your plane. So it works out when we test the globe mathematics, the horizon that appears at eye level, however high we go, but in this instance in the plane at 39,000 feet, according to the globe maths, that horizon should be 78,050 feet below eye level. Think about that, 78,000 feet. That's higher than the U2 plane flies at. That's how high, that difference is how far the horizon should be below eye level. Clearly ridiculous. I mean, who believes this stuff? I pointed this out to a globe-believing mate the other day. He just froze on the spot. He had nothing to say. It's because the globe maths mugs itself off left, right and centre, particularly with planes and particularly when we're dealing with the horizon. You can't look out of a plane window and see the horizon there, when according to the globe maths, it's nearly 80,000 feet below your eye level. You just can. That's clearly ridiculous. I'm sorry if you believe or want to believe you live on a globe. I mean, you can carry on, but it's clearly scientifically impossible. And when you use natural observations and use the horizon, and then test it with the globe mathematics, the globe just fails. This isn't an opinion. This is a scientific fact. The globe, I'm afraid, is impossible. 